Did you know there are billions of records over on MyHeritage waiting for you to search for them? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the search forms over on MyHeritage to find records for your ancestors. While you can use record matches to build your family tree like I showed in a previous video, you can actually begin searching the record collections as you would many other databases. We're going to go over to click research and search all records. And notice there's just mini bar that my heritage has. You can type in a first and middle name, a last name, year of birth or place. You can also add details. Maybe you want to also add a father, add a mother. You would have to type it in and then click apply. There's also more details you may also add birth, marriage, residence, military, immigration, additional siblings, children and siblings. Maybe you want to add gender or keywords. All of these can go right up here. You can do a surname only search. You can do a first name with no surname. You can do a first name, no middle name, surname and birth year. You can do a lot of combinations here on this website. So I am going to try to search for George Carlsberger, born 1825. And I'm going to leave the place blank. When I come down here, I'm going to see results from family tree. I'm going to see census records, another census record, city directories. Love city directories, but I'm going to keep scrolling down. Um, now we're going to start name variations. Charlesworth, Carlsberger, and Charlesworth. I'm not entirely sure how those names show up that way. So I'm going to go ahead and click on match exactly and update my search. Have some of the same records, but now I found a newspaper entry. Now before I attach this to my family tree or rule it out, because why is this showing up in Napoleon, Henry County, Ohio? My ancestor wasn't from Henry County, Ohio. When it comes to newspapers, you always wanna view the records. So let's click in and we're going to not save it yet. We're going to expand the document. Now we can do it in the viewer here to get a sense of where is the purple highlight. I think I saw it up at the top. There's the purple highlight. So I'm going to expand it further, go up to the top for the purple highlight. And now we have Columbus, Ohio. You're going to find that a lot in newspapers where things happen in another location, but show up in a different record collection. Let's go ahead and look at this article. It's kind of fascinating, I think. And it says, Dynamite Fiend, identity at the Columbus bomb thrower established on July 16th, so two days before the newspaper was printed, the man who attempted to blow up the residence of city director of public works, J.P. Bliss, a week ago, has been placed under arrest. He right man has been cons... I think it's supposed to be the, <laughs> the right man has been secured beyond a doubt. In fact, he has made a full confession. His name is George Carlsberger 35. Okay, wait a minute. I searched for George Carlsberger born in 1825. 1895 minus 1825, he should be 70. 1895 minus 35 means that this George was born in 1860. So I can't attach this record directly to the George I was researching, but let's see if they are related. His name is George Carlsberger, 35. He is evidently insane. Though his parents live here and he is unmarried, Carlsberger has lived for a long time in a shanty boat on the river and was found there when Detectives Mahoney and O'Neill went to arrest him. He staunchly resisted arrest and in the melee, Detective Mahoney was bruised in the face and O'Neill had his hands smashed. Okay, that's great. But... What we're picking up on, and he's 35, though his parents live here, here meaning Columbus, he is unmarried. So we need to look for an unmarried George Carlsberger born in 1860 to see how this might be related. So that means another record search. So instead of closing this out, I'm gonna leave it open and I'm going to open a new tab. And this time I'm going to put George Carlsberger. I'm gonna do an exact match 
1860, Columbus, Ohio. And I have city directories in, in 1907, 1886, 1885. Here's a George J. Carlsberger in 1861, Germany, 1920, patient. Wait, that newspaper said that he was insane. He's been arrested. It's entirely possible that he was put in an institution. What I really want to find uh, census records. So I'm going to filter to census records. And I have this one in 1920. And I have the older one in 1900. This happened in 1895. What do I need? Well, I need a census record from 1880. Let's see if we can find that. How are we going to get there? Well, we're going to go to our record search and I'm going to open a new tab. Before I use this form, I'm actually going to filter to the 1880 census. I'm going to type in Carl's with a spelling variation and I'm going to put in a location and I'm going to search. Now, notice that I put a surname with a question mark. That way it could be an R or no R. And I didn't put a year, I did put a place. The resident place had to be Franklin County, Ohio. And notice I now have an 1860 Carlsberger. So I'm gonna click on that. The household members are George, Mary, John, and all of these. And it turns out this George is the same as this George that I searched for. To confirm this further, I'm gonna go see if in the 1900 census, the one that happened after 1895, has a George as an inmate. So I'm in the 1900 census. I'm gonna put George, but just part of the name with the asterisk, Carlsberger, but I'm just gonna stop at Carl and put an asterisk. And then I'm going to put Columbus. And sometimes it's called Columbus City. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there as well. Click search. And I come up with this result right here, this Carlsberger in Columbus, Ohio. I zoom in, number 18, I like that. I really like that. Carlsberger, I can see why people have trouble reading that. He's from Ohio a laborer. They don't really tell me anything other than that he's in the Columbus State Hospital. Using the searches, I have found a newspaper clipping about George Carlsberger, 35 from Ohio. I know that he is the son of the man that I was searching. And in addition to the newspaper article, I found an 1880 census record and a 1900 census record for both the man I was originally searching for as well as his son in 1900. Before we continue, I want to personally invite you to our live streams. They happen every other Friday. Be sure to check the channel page of Family History Fanatics to make, find out when we have the next live stream or sign up for our newsletter so you'll never miss another episode or when we go live. Some other ways to navigate through what MyHeritage has for you is you can click on the type of record you're searching for and you come back to that census page that I showed you earlier. You can also search family trees, birth, marriage, and death records from around the world. You can search for specific collections here on the right. I do like that. Other types of vital records and civil registration and church records really great way to navigate through their collection catalog. You can see the re recently added collections here. And then there's a collection catalog, like a card catalog. Love, 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 love this. And you can filter through different things in that way. So books and publications, filter to the United States, and you can refine it further. Notice they have a couple of locations. So if you have this New England area, you might want to check this card catalog out. So my heritage has a lot for you to do record research and document research. So make sure that when you're done exploring hints, you go and do more thorough research. Always have a genealogy research plan and add suggestions to that to keep you on track instead of going down rabbit holes. If you have more questions about my heritage, please let me know in the comments. If you would like other videos on how to use my heritage, put those in the comments or send me an email um, using the contact form on our blog post. 
But if you're ready for another tip on how to use my heritage, check out this playlist right here. And if you're ready for something more tailored to your needs, check out this video right here. Ooh. Okay, are we ready to do this?